What's going on everybody? This is Ultima Device Vids, and today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys 10 free brand new jailbreak tweaks compatible with iOS 10 all the way through to iOS 10.2. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So first up, we have Display Weather 10. This tweak will place the weather inside of the Today view in iOS 10. So the view with all of the widgets, as you can see right here in the corner, the left corner, we have our weather. So we have the current temperature, the little icon indicator, the location, and the condition. And this is also available inside the Notification Center if you slide over just like that. And also on the lock screen, of course, as well. So if I show you guys here, slide over, we have that weather indicator just like that. So a uh, very useful tweak. App percent will give you a percentage on your app store downloads and it will also give you a notification when the application is done downloading. So let me go ahead and show you guys. We're just going to go ahead and start a Twitter download uh, from the app store here. And I'll show you guys as soon as it starts to download, we can go to the home screen. And as you can see right there, right on top of the application, we get a percentage just like that. So it says loading. Of course, we get all the normal indications. But again, we have that percentage there progressing as the application is loading. So um, and again, once it's done, you're also going to get a notification just telling you that it's done. So if it's a big application and you're doing other things, you'll be notified. So as you can see, just like that, you get the notification and it's finished downloading. So uh, definitely some great options for the App Store. Control My Center provides various different changes to the control center. So if we go ahead and open up the control center here, uh, you're going to see that the Wi-Fi indicator is now a green toggle. That's a small one, but we also now have a low power mode toggle that's available just like that. And as you can see right there, it does turn on the low power mode. You can see by the yellow indicator. Uh, and again, it replaces the Do Not Disturb toggle with that. So uh, personally, I'm always using low power mode much more than Do Not Disturb, so I'm happy about that. It also replaces the timer shortcut down here with a record option. So you can go ahead and tap on this, and it'll start recording your screen. So right on your device, I'll just do a little screen capture here. We can do whatever we want, and then, of course, whenever we want to stop it, we just go ahead and tap on it. And it saves it directly to the camera roll. So let me go ahead and show you guys the uh, video just real quick. And, you know, the frame rate is very good. As you can see right here, it's just so smooth. Um, and it works very well, you can see just like that. So that's great if you're using a project or if you're trying to record your screen for whatever reason. Safari Tools allows you to customize Safari to your liking. If you jump to settings after you install it, you can go into uh, the Safari Tools. And in here you have various useful options. You can make the URL bar flatter, you can add a pixelated progress bar, um, and you can hide various things. And if we just continue to scroll down, you can make a custom amount of uh, favorite icons per row. And uh, some of my favorites, you could have full screen scrolling, which is, you know, definitely a better experience. You could also block pop-ups, you know, that direct, redirect you to the App Store, a hide status bar, disable swipe to go back and forward. But um, anyways, once you do that, just go ahead and respring. After you do that, your changes will take an effect. So you can see the status bar is gone. We have a flat URL bar. It definitely looks cleaner. And we have the full screen scrolling and, of course, all the other changes that we enabled. But, uh, yeah, if you want to customize Safari, check this one out. No Share Please will remove the 3D Touch Share option from applications. So in iOS 10, Apple added that Share option to every single App Store application on your device. But as you can see, this tweet completely removes it. So if you don't, if you don't like that option, just install this and it cleans up the menus. Dizzy Folders allows you to add an animation to when you open and close folders. So if I go ahead and tap on this folder here, as you can see, you have the nice animation that kind of swings in from the side and swings back. So um, definitely a nice effect. If you guys go into settings, you can configure this. So let's just head over here to Dizzy Folders. So make sure, make sure this tweak is enabled. Now there's three animations that it comes with. There's Spiral, Speed, and Zoom. Now I, I, I seem to only be able to get the Spiral one to work. These two don't seem to be working, but um, either way, uh, just make sure, you know, if it's not working, if Spiral itself isn't even working, just go ahead and toggle these both off, toggle them back on and respring, and eventually you'll get it working. Just a nice effect, visual effect for your folders. CC Shadow Remover will remove the dark shadow you get when you pull up Control Center that appears on the top portion of the screen and while you're pulling it up. You can see there's just no difference between normally and when you pull it up, so uh, if, you, if you prefer this look, this is definitely nice. I think it looks cleaner, so uh, definitely a fan of this one. Same status bar is a very small tweak. It just makes the status bar on the lock screen the same size as the status bar on the home screen. Normally the lock screen one is bigger, so when I go ahead and unlock my device, you'll notice that the status bar does stay the exact same size. Clean Notifications 10 will change the way that your widgets and your notifications look on your device. So uh, basically, the way that it blurs will look different. Uh, it's basically called in the description of the tweak, Unifying the Content Blur. Uh, basically, it just makes things cleaner. It looks like it takes in more of the wallpaper. Things are less gray, and they resemble more of the color of what's behind the actual content. So in this case, it's the nice green wallpaper. So we get that there. And again, I think it looks much better. Uh, let me go ahead and show you guys a comparison real quick inside the Photos app here. So here's a screenshot of uh, before I had this tweak installed and now after. You can see right there it takes in much more of the color, and it just looks much better. You can see some of the icons behind there as well. And again, it also takes place, of course, inside the Notification Center. 
in this circumstance just like this and also again with um, banners and things on the lock screen notifications it's subtle but i really like it oh and it also takes an effect for widgets with 3d touch uh, there as well cr settings allows you to basically put an image inside of reachability when you're inside of applications so if i go ahead and jump into settings here and i break down reachability we can have a custom image there so uh by default it has a uh, basically processor chip right there just uh again as the default one it looks kind of cool because, I don't know, maybe it's like revealing the internals of the iPhone or something. But um, either way, you can configure that to your liking. Um, basically, it's not quite as easy as going into the settings. You actually have to use iFile or some sort of system file manager to do it. You just go to, uh, to the uh, main directory, go all the way back as far as you can, go into library. Then you're going to find the CR settings. And in here, you'll have the um, file that you can go ahead and customize, add in there. But uh, I don't know. I, I kind of like the default one just with that um, processor there. I think that looks kind of cool. It's just definitely just like a little subtle touch to uh, indicate that you're jailbroken. You could show it off to people. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed these tweaks. If you did, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos pertaining to Cydia tweaks, jailbreaking, that kind of thing. Also, make sure to follow the channel on Twitter and like it on Facebook. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out.